Also in Washington, some science students inspired by the tragedy of Arizona's Yarnell fire went to the White House Science Fair with a message of hope. Cronkite News reporter Samantha Witherwax has details on the new technology to save firefighters' lives. It's almost three years later and thousands of miles away, but the impact of the Yarnell fire that killed 19 Arizona firefighters is still being felt throughout the country. The incident drove four high school students to develop a product aimed to save the lives of our firefighters. Our firefighters are risking their lives every single day um, when they could be, you know, better protected. Savannah Kofer was hiking with her family in Arizona in 2013 when she saw smoke from wildfires. A short time later, she found out that 19 Arizona firefighters were surrounded and killed during a fire. When I saw it at first, I was just shocked at first because I, I didn't know what exactly was happening, but it opened my eyes to see that there was an unmet need and something that could be valid for further investigation. So she and three other students who met at a science fair investigated and discovered the new fire armor technology uses an ice pack like insulation that was inspired by Savannah's years of soccer. So in the same way that the instant ice pack, the chemical reaction causes the ice pack to get cold, the aluminum silica hydrate fiber absorbs the heat from the environment. And the difference? Our fibers can provide up to five minutes of protection in a flash fire condition, which is really critical considering that the current fibers only last about five seconds. After countless hours, the invention was a success, and now the students have applied for a patent. That success also brought the group to Washington for the White House Science Fair. Uh, we are counting on all of you to help build a brighter future and for you to use your talents to help your communities and your country and the world. We will be with you every step of the way. Reporting from Washington, Samantha Witherwax, Cronkite News.